Princess Elizabeth Cup, PE. Attention! St. Paul's. Go! Oh, on the near oh, side, oh. the right hand side, the Buckinghamshire side, and the Berkshire station, the Windsor Boys School. This, one has to say from the start, is probably going to be an equal contest because the Windsor Boys School is very much a sculling school, and this is effectively a second crew behind their top quad. But they've got a flying start, they're off. If only they had a little bit of a lead on the top of the island originally. Uh, but that's what they had to do because St Paul's, they won this event last year. And it, they've clearly gone off hard to try and take a lead on St Paul's, but St Paul's, uh, they're a very, very evil crew. And it's time to come back. In fact, they've gone through with the boys now to take a lead. Look at the power they're putting down. They're a much bigger crew. Average uh, 12 stone 8 compared to uh, just under 12 stone, the Windsor boys crew. It is very impressive just to sit, just to stand, to watch wherever you are around the world, whether you're rooting for St Paul's, whether your school or your college is taking part in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup later today or tomorrow. You have to admire the technique and the quality that we're watching because you can see exactly why they've won last year and why they fancy themselves to make it a double. And they've got six uh, returning from last year's crew that won. Uh, they weren't expected to win the final last year, I have to be said. They had a superb race to win. And here they are, and they mean business again. Uh, They'll be the best season, and Bobby Thatcher, their coach, would admit as much, but there's nothing like coming back to the scene of a triumph. I indeed. And they've got some real experience there. Not only did they win here last year, their stern pair uh, went on to row in the Junior Worlds in the, the GB8 last year too. Dave Ambler and Freddie Davidson. I'll quote Martin Cross, which is not always a good idea, I would say. <laughs> Brave. Yes, they've got guys who know how to win in more than anybody, and also they've got the horsepower. And we're seeing very much the epitome on the water now. And this is only Wednesday, so we know there's plenty, mu plenty more in the tank. I think there's more to come too. If you look at the blade work, it's not entirely uh, together either. There seems to be a difference between Stern Pair and uh, the two guys behind them in five and six. It's unusual for that quality. There is. Is there ever the perfect row, though? <laughs> the perfect row, one way is winning gold in the last few metres, maybe, or strokes. Well, the older they get, the more I perfect rows we used to do, but yes, no, you're quite right. But nonetheless, I'm sure Bobby Thatcher, maybe even the crew themselves will feel this was uh, a heat which had to be negotiated but there is much more work to be done and maybe if the, the when the opposition and the competition starts to ramp up that will be different nonetheless for this crew here the Windsor Boys School uh, third in the C final at the National Schools just behind Dulwich and to be up against this sort of quality it's Indeed. about keeping in touch They're and really, doing really nice actually. I'd say they've got better blade work than St Paul's it looks a tidier crew and if you look at the boat as well it's not checked here. Yeah, it's a very really smooth run, isn't it? Fantastic. And maybe that's their sculling heritage showing through. Because sculling in a single boat, you have you know, the best feedback for whether well, you've got no excuse. It is you slowing the boat down. So maybe that shows a really nice uh, technique. It's one in which you put down to experience. And boat crews, really. But also it is the experience not just of competing in against St Paul's on this particular stretch of water, but also the Henley experience. So many of the crews I've talked to have remarked about how they mustn't be anxious, how they mustn't be distracted, how this is such a big event. Yeah, and it's the nerves down the start as well, or even at the boat ends. And there are so many distractions of your family and your friends here, um, and it's, it's managing the whole thing. Nowhere else do you race where when you get down to the start. You've got all the uh, equipment in the river you have to avoid. You've got all the pleasure cruisers, which build and build and build over the weekend. And that awful feeling of having done all the work and then not done yourself justice, as we've seen just a few moments ago in that women's quad, where you get a crowd and you feel all that hard work over the last nine months, maybe longer than you've built towards this, and it's gone in one full stroke. And all the sacrifice you've had to make. Put some pulls have done their work for Wednesday afternoon on the first day of the 2016 Henley Royal Regatta. Through they come, a strong start, they met the challenge early on from the Windsor Boys School and then headed off down towards Henley Town Centre. Got a good 
round of applause for the efforts of Windsor Boys School. It won't be there yet in 2016, but they have played their part in that heat. But overwhelmingly, it's St Paul's this afternoon.